guys it's your boy ptb7 uh tonight we're going to be discussing a short story no a comic uh titled the shabbat this was written by marjane satrapi um in my opinion probably the best comic you're gonna read um i mean there's no denying it it's full of thrills right the plot is just up and down stuff but uh, whatever. let's get into it all right guys um, before we dive into our comic I was thinking that we could discuss our author a little bit um, you may be wondering why I'm not wearing my glasses it's because um, when I'm getting ready for bed I usually take them off because um, I don't need glasses so yeah she was born in 1969 50 years young, uh, at the age of 10, uh, the 1979 Iranian Revolution began, uh, and uh, actually this is, in my opinion, what uh, she's explaining in her comic, but we will get to that. At age 14, she was expelled from her French language school uh, for hitting the principal who demanded that she could not wear jewelry. Uh, obviously, her parents feared for her safety, so they sent her to Vienna, Austria, uh, where she remained until she was 18 years old. Uh, she then got married, but it ended pretty quick in divorce. Um, she moved to France in 1994, um, where she published Persepolis in 2000, the year, two, the year 2000. Um, no, but uh, this actually got really popular. It was translated into various languages. It made its way to the uh, United States, um, where it actually was made into an animated version. And it was nominated for an Academy Award in 2008. So uh, that wraps up a couple facts about our author. And... Uh, Alright, so where were we? Oh yes, the Shabbat. Well, this comic begins with Marjan, her parents, uh, in discussion with their neighbors about the war that they were in. Um, it was known or rumored that the Iraqi um, had obtained ballistic missiles and that they were going to use these ballistic missiles, even though the post was thousand miles away there's there's still rumors so um they're talking and then a uh the parents are saying well i mean we're our people iranians are they mentioned olympic champions at uh let's just say exaggerating so um they thought nothing of it until they heard an alarm sound well, this alarm uh, s really just meant that they had three minutes. Um, whether it's going to be a false alarm or if something uh, bad was going to happen. And, uh, well, to no surprise, the uh, ballistic missiles uh, did hit uh, their uh, community. And, well, the Terran, or Tehran, uh, were now at war. So it uh, then moves on um, to uh, Marjan talking to her mother, asking her, uh, can I have some money to uh, go buy some jeans? And her mother says, well, of course, um, how much? And uh, she goes, a thousand tuma. And, well, I mean, that sounds like a lot, which it is, because um, before the, the Shah was disposed, before 1979, the revolution, um, one, seven tuman was equal to one dollar and after this it was a hundred and ten to month were equal to one dollar so uh, her mother uh, was very surprised at this um, so Marjan was at the store and she was with her friend Shadi and um, they uh, they heard a, a loud boom so uh, Marjan called for a taxi and uh, she 
um, asked to go home. Like, obviously she wanted to know if uh, everything was alright. So, she gets home and then she sees a large crowd at the front of her street. And uh, the crowd was saying that it hit at the end of the street. Well, her house was at the end of the street along with her neighbors, the Baba Levies. So she gets down in the street, she's running, she's running, she can't look because she doesn't want to see her house is blown up. And then she hears her mom yelling at her. So her, she runs to her mom and then her mom says, the Baba Levy's hit house uh, was just hit. And then she was saying, well, they weren't home, right? I mean, they weren't home. Well, her mom says, well, you know, it's Saturday, right? And of course, no one's going to say, well, who cares if it's Saturday? Well, the Baba Levy's were Jewish and on Saturdays, they're supposed to stay inside. So her mother tries t to distract her, saying, um, I did put tape on the windows and it worked because the windows broke, but no glass got anywhere. And uh, Marjan runs to the house and she does see um, her friend, or the Pavlovich's daughter, Nada, who received a turquoise bracelet on for her birthday from her aunt. And she sees that, but she also sees that her hand is still in the bracelet <sighs> so this comic is a biography of her author at uh it was is about the part in her life uh when the iranian revolution uh was still going on it's most like when she's a young teenager and it's just it's really just describing other countries had to face obviously we you know here in America this kind of stuff doesn't happen but uh, in these other countries they gotta deal with these revolutions these wars all the time so I really think that this comic I know it's it's not written in a story or anything it's a comic book but it has a deep meaning it's just meant to show the readers what really goes on um, in other countries so um, that's really the significance of this uh, short story uh, but uh, always it's your boy PTB7 uh, Crispy Ben Wilder Aiden Brown uh, but uh, that's all for me folks peace I'd like to check this book out the uh, link is right here so uh, peace out